What is happening everyone and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can remove the apps from your dock on your MacBook or any macOS device. I will show you completely the basic way of doing that and then I will also show you something a little bit more advanced like a little trick that will make it a lot easier for you. So let's begin with this video right now. Okay, so what you have to do and what you have to know is that these are your apps which you can easily drag to your dock if they aren't there already. But the thing is that if you want to remove the app from the dock, you're not simply able to simply grab it and move it to the trash can, it's just not how it works. But what you have to do instead is simply locate the app that you want to remove from the dock. Okay, so let's, for example, take a look at the mail app. You have to just use your two fingers to tap the, um, the trackpad in order to activate the right click. Okay, so just like that, head over to the options and hit remove from the dock. And that means that the app is nowhere to be found in the dock anymore. This is how you can easily remove every single app. And it's just very easy to put it back there if you would decide. Just open up all this launch pad and grab the icon once again and put it to the dock somewhere and it's just going to appear right there but it will also stay here in your all apps section so you're not moving it from here to the dock you're just duplicating it or making a shortcut for that okay so if this helped you already then i'm really glad and if this is the case then hit the thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe so you don't miss anything but i have also one more tip for you so make sure you head over to the system preferences and open up this dock section so this is this right here and here we have the entire window on our screen I just like to use these things i like to check them all except for the last one because this show recent applications in dock will basically make the dock a lot more cluttered which means that if you open up some of the apps you can see that we have this slash bar which separates the apps that are fixed in the dock from those that are just recently used just like the terminal right here and if i just uncheck it so like that you can see that we don't have that anymore and the only difference and the only line is separating the trash can from all of the other icons this is exactly the point of this toggle but the thing i'm trying to say is that if you just don't want your dock to be cluttered with some unneeded apps simply turn this option off and you will have a lot less apps in the dock which also has something to do with the topic of removing the apps from the dock you just remove the recently used apps which is a lot more useful because those apps simply change based on the one that you are using so yeah this is definitely a very useful tip but there is another one one thing that i would just simply recommend you doing is that you need to keep this thing turned on minimize window into application icon because for example if i would uncheck it and now if i would simply hit minimize it wouldn't just minimize it to this system preferences but it would just add another icon to the dock if i would open up some sort of folder and simply minimize it there we go we have another icon it may be useful at times but it's just going to make your dock so much more cluttered and just harder to use so i wouldn't recommend you doing that at all it i think that it is just a lot better if you would just click on this and right now if i minimize it's just gonna go to this system preferences icon there you go and if i uncheck it you can see that we have another icon but right now it doesn't really matter if i click on system preferences or this icon it just opens up the very same page the very same window so there is no point of keeping those two icons in the dock. Okay, so I would say that this is the end of this video. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully I gave you just a little bit, some, some just minor tips that will help you just a little bit. I hope so. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. And see you guys in the, in the next videos. Peace out.